Pisces, welcome back to Kit's Cars. This is Kitty, and we are going to do a general love reading for those that are single and loosely connected. I drew two oracle cards for you prior. This is going to be interesting because shuffling your cards has been stubborn as hell, and what came up is the mule. So someone's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, and the other one that came up was handshake. So meeting somebody could be important. So we'll put those to the side. We are going to look at your general overall energy first. Spirit Source Guides, for the sign of Pisces, please, what do we have for their overall general energy? Okay, okay, so the Ace of Cups, which is, let me flip it for you, Chalices. The Ace of Cups reversed is saying that something here wasn't balanced. So your overall energy is saying that there was something you were in a relationship that you kind of felt neglected in. Um... Usually aces are new starts, however, in this case, not so much. It feels that you weren't receiving the attention. It was unstable. There was a lack of trust. Something felt fake. Okay, how is Pisces viewing their person? Okay, what came out is the Wheel of Fortune. Let's, before I say too much... Let's see how your person is feeling. What is their person thinking or feeling about them, Source? Oh, tight cards, guys. Holy schmuck. All right. They are viewing you as the Seven of Swords. So, <laughs> they think you're full of shit. I'm not sure exactly why yet, but let's get a few more. Alright, why are you supposedly full of shit? It could be that they were accusing you of being in another situation with somebody else, okay? And they feel like they busted you on something. I'm not necessarily feeling that you were doing anything. Let's clarify the wheel on your side. Energies can be interchangeable. If this is not your story, it is not your story. Don't try to fit your butt into it if it doesn't fit. Come back on another time. Check your other placements. Wow, you guys are stubborn. The Magician. Wow, two major arcana for you. Okay, so you're trying to manifest something different. You were trying to manifest a change in this. But right now, how you're feeling is trying to move on from a situation, okay? This um, this is kind of like karma. So they, ugh, they just seem like they're up in their heads all the time with their emotions and that they're... Uh, obsessed with something so let's see how they see you how are they looking at you how are they feeling about you at this time it does feel like there is a disconnect and this is not a very satisfying relationship for you and that you're looking more forward okay Four of Wands. So they see you as somebody that they want to be with. Let's clarify that. I'm surprised that didn't come in upside down. Honestly, because that would say lack of foundation. But, hmm. Which again, that can be your side as well. And the Knight of Pentacles. So they're very slow. <laughs> they can be lazy in a situation. They can have been lazy in the relationship. All right. How do you see them? How does Pisces see their person spirit? All the way to the floor. Okay. You're looking at them as the king of swords in reverse. So you don't think that they're being honest with you. Okay. You think or feel that they could be a narcissist, that they could be a manipulator. There seems to be some control. If you were still in this relationship, hmm, it does seem like a lot of control. Okay, also, judgment. So, you need to fully look at an entire situation. You're making a judgment call on this person. Something that seemed very unstable, very controlling. Okay, so action. Let's see if we, there's one. Action moving forward of this person, Ten of Wands. So they're feeling this, this is a lot of, it's too much work. Interesting. Let's see if we can get one to clarify that. Why do they think this is too much work? Or why do you feel like this is too much work? 
in the Marshall Fold. Okay, hey, cherry in reverse. They're not willing to put in the effort. They're just, this isn't going anywhere. At least that's how you're feeling at this time. Chariot up front. It's that these people are in a car. They're moving forward. They're feeling good. They're all successful. Upside down. It's stagnant. It's not going anywhere. You feel stuck in the situation and it's not necessarily fulfilling. Hmm. What should Pisces do? What should Pisces do moving forward? One more shuffle. What should Pisces do moving forward? I'm going to get a couple clarifiers, too, on that other person's side and see what this possible third party situation could have been. Okay, moving forward, you have the Five of Swords. So, the Five of Swords speaks of being triumphant, winning. It can be a challenge between people. One more card, please, Source. One more card. Okay, and we also have the Five of Cups. So you're feeling that this was too much work as well. Moving forward, do you want to put the work into this? Are you willing to keep sucking it up even though you're feeling at a loss in this situation? The Five of Cups is sorrow. It's a loss. It's something that is not emotionally fulfilling. If it's reversed, you're starting to let go of the situation, but you're still holding on to it. So we're going to pick up another deck here. Let's clarify the Three of Wands, please, Source. Why the Three of Wands for the other person? Why do they have the energy of the Three of Wands, please, Source? Okay, and the Ace of Wands, reverse. So the Ace of Wands, to clarify, the Three of Wands. The Ace of Wands, it's a fear of change. It can be a delay. It can be that there's coldness and blockages and conflict in this situation. It seems like they're causing their own conflict by thinking that you could be in a third-party situation or not liking how you're acting about things. Let's see what this deceit is. What is the deceit? Okay, what they think you are full of shit about is, okay, so they th they're using their intuition incorrectly. When we look at this card here and they're going, okay, you're full of crap about something. They think they're using their intuition correctly. They think that they're seeing things moving forward, but they really aren't seeing the entire picture. Okay. They're not using their intuition correctly. This person is probably being quiet in this situation about how they're feeling. Okay. So let's clarify the magician on your side. What are you manifesting? Okay, two flew out. Okay, page of pentacles and nine of wands. So page of pentacles in reverse. Something's too damn slow. It's just not moving anywhere. You don't have the patience for this crap anymore. With the nine of wands, there again is that burden. Okay, it's you're, you're taking on so much. All the weight of the world is on your shoulders. It, this is just a lot of work. All right, let's clarify the wheel on your side. The wheel of fortune, please, source. Why? All right. Okay, clarifying. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Rods in reverse. A lot of reversals here. Okay, so the King of Pentacles, when he's reversed, can mean that it's not a sturdy foundation, which was interesting because I really thought that the Four of Wands should have been reversed. This person can be conniving. They can be irresponsible, lazy, selfish, uh, very materialistic and demanding. You know, I feel a lot of control going on here by this other person. With clarifying with the two, it's stagnant. Something needs to be decided upon or something has been decided upon, okay? But this is you deciding what is best for you because of how you're feeling about a situation. All right, your feelings. Let's see why you're feeling the King of Swords. There wasn't clear communication in this situation. Oh my gosh, they are flying. Okay, you got the Magician again. And the Hierophant. Okay. The Magician is speaking about you manifesting something. You're working in your mind to 
try to manipulate or change. I don't maybe necessarily mean manipulate. I don't think you're manipulating things. But with the hair flat reverse, there's no commitment there. You didn't feel a commitment. I think you need to ponder what it is you really want. Do you want to move forward? Do you want to keep committing to this relationship? I think that this person would be fine just being a stagnant, they work, they let you do all the work relationship with you. This isn't, you know, necessarily the way that you feel about how commitment should be. All right, let's clarify the judgment. Is this person wanting a second chance? With a judgment upright, they, there can be sorrow. Somebody can feel sorry about a situation and how things were going. Clarify judgment, please. Okay. Okay. So the Eight of Swords, very feeling like you're stuck. You're not stuck in a situation. You never are. You have complete control over the situation. This is how you're feeling in your mind. The Swords speak of intellect and, and thinking and feeling in your head. Okay, it's not as much, sometimes it's almost, um, hmm, that's the word I want to use, stubborn thinking. You need to start taking baby steps to move out of this mental block that you're causing yourself, okay? So let's get some advice moving forward from source. What advice do you have for Pisces? What advice? All right, make a decision. You need to make a decision because right now the the entire situation seems like it's just juggling, okay? You're taking on a lot. You're doing all the work, which isn't necessarily right, okay? Why? Yeah, because this was too much heartache. It's the end of this cycle, okay? So what Source is telling you, the advice that I'm getting for you from Source is saying... You're taking on too much. It's a burden. You need to let go of the situation. What could be coming that's new? What could be coming that's new for Pisces? And then we are going to go through Aries through Pisces to see what your person could be thinking or feeling for a specific sign. Okay. What is coming that's new is that decision. Okay. You're really stuck in the vibrations right now of not moving on the bottom of the deck what you don't see coming is the moon you really need to go within yourself and think about the situation with the moon coming out it's saying that there's things that you're not sure of there isn't a lot of communication at this time can you see that yes we don't want to glare um the moon sometimes feels like there's deceit and lies it can be that you're figuring out, you're in your head. You want to be in your head. Um, something doesn't balance well in the situation, and it is time for you to move forward. Um, you have the power to change this. Obviously, with the tarot, you have the power to change everything, but these are the energies that we're getting for you today. So we're going to go through Aries, through Pisces. Let's mix these nice. And see what your person could be thinking or feeling. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, they're coming out as a Hierophant. So if you have met somebody new, they're very traditional. They um, can see a commitment moving forward. So that would be positive. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus that flew out fast. The Fool could be a new beginning, could be a date with somebody, can be just something new, a newer relationship. Um, flirting, something casual. So that could be positive. If you're dealing with a Gemini, all right, they're coming out as the Two of Wands. Um, they're stuck in a situation right now, and they're not too sure what to do about things, but they need to make a decision. All right, if you are dealing with a Cancer, Cancer, the Cancer could be already involved with somebody. I'd be cautious on that one. It can also be that you're getting together with them. So use your judgment. The Three of Cups can be getting together and celebrating. can be a date, just something simple. But it also can be a third-party situation. And I think that you're probably going to know one way or the other. All right. If you are dealing with a Leo, now your cards are talking. The Star, very nice card, okay? So 
there is emotion here. There is hope and and the potential for long term and renewed faith and healing in a situation. So that could be very positive. All right, if you're dealing with a Virgo, that's stubborn again. Okay, the Virgo, they're not really, there's some doubt in this situation. They're not really sticking up for themselves. I don't feel like there's a lot of communication, so I might be a little holding back on that one as well. They're holding back, you hold back too. If you are dealing with a Libra, you got three cards. We Okay. Seriously. Wow. Okay, so they're offering something very small towards you. However, they've recently gotten where they're not communicating with somebody. This, I'm feeling, is a past situation that they had gotten out of. They could have ghosted somebody or felt they were ghosted. They have small offerings for you. But they do want to feel or see you as the Queen of Wands, which is very nice. The Queen of Wands, let me get these cards together here again. She's very strong and self-assured. So I really feel that they're looking at you as an extrovert. You're independent. You're charming. You're hot. All that kind of good stuff. They're interested. But be careful. Because you don't want to deal with somebody that could be codependent. Okay, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, they're coming out as a two pentacles. So they're kind of dropping. They're dropping the situation. Um, let's get a clarifier on that. Okay. Okay. They had recently ended something. So they're coming around in a different way. They made a decision. They're moving forward. Um, it feels like it could have been recent for them. So again, maybe be a little bit cautious. I don't feel that they were juggling two people. I think that they just were moving on from a situation. Okay, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, they're coming out as the king. A lot of kings in here. You guys got a lot of people up your butt or what? King of Pentacles came up in here. Um, so that can be an earth sign. Um... I'll get into the signs as soon as I'm done going through here. But the King of Pentacles, this person is stable. He offers commitment. He is mature. He can be well off. All right, if you are dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, they are coming out as Queen of Cups. So they are emotionally available. They're very intuitive, which is nice. They know what they want. They work well with others on emotions. They're very caring and nurturing, and they're not afraid to show it. If you are dealing with Capricorn, I believe we're on. Forgive me if we're not. Capricorn is definitely going to offer something. They And now this can be somebody from work, or that they have just, I mean, they can be something just as simple as they, they have a lot of money, somebody you meet at work. They are offering you something stable. Um, let's go to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, a lot of kings in here. I don't know, guys. <laughs> you have a lot of people in this. Too many people in this situation. The king of swords, again, can be an obnoxious ass. Um, with him being reversed, especially. Um, it could, again, the narcissistic, manipulative, deceitful type person. So be careful. Know what you want. You don't want to deal with that crap again. You don't want to repeat a cycle. So if this was a cycle here and you have somebody coming back around that's the same way, you need to change your vibrations. I completely believe in the law of attraction and what you put out into the universe. If you're crabby all the time, if you're negative going, oh, it's never going to be for me. Um, I always attract people that leave me or they're control freaks, etc. You're going to get the same thing back. So try to change your vibrations because it is true. What we put into the universe comes back to us and you do not want to go through a cycle like this again. Okay, if you're dealing with another Pisces, they recently had ended something. They're getting over that situation and they're kind of just hanging out right now. They're um, kind of taking a look at different perspectives, but they're kind of holding on to themselves and just watching, okay? 
So there definitely could be some movement there. The signs that we have here are, let's see, we have water signs. We have a lot of fire up here. So Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Aquarius. We have Hierophant. Taurus. So pretty much anything goes. You could be dealing with any sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Everything goes. With the general energies of the Queen of, or I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups in reverse though, this is what your main energy is that caused this whole spread. And that is something that was unfulfilling. Okay. This is the energy that we have for you today, Pisces. It is just a general energy. You can change anything that you want to. If this resonated, please do give a thumbs up. Check back in a few days if it did not. And again, check your other placements. Thank you for viewing, and we will see you next time. Many blessings.